projecting yourself like a giant penis into the world as a woman pales in comparison to doing great work in the home, in the frame that a man creates for you so that you can mentor to teach and guide children to be everything that you want to see in the world. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, what are your thoughts on my girlfriend saying she wants to build a life with me, but she feels like I'm wanting to build her into my life? She usually says she feels like we're living in my world. So I think that's a good thing. And I think any woman who's given a chance to live in the world of a man, to live under the mantle of a real strong alpha male leader, provider and protector, will be able to bask in the glory of true femininity. And the only reason why I can say that is because that's how my life, my wife lives. My wife and my life is as you describe it. She is a part of my life. I've built the life, right? I'm the CEO and she is a COO. So I decide the direction. I decide the big plan, but she helps me execute, right? And as a result, it's so funny, just yesterday, just yesterday, she's in the kitchen. She just got back from Trader Joe's where she just did this big shopping, right? And she walks in and she puts all the food on the counter and she sits down and she says, I love my life. Thank you so much for, for my life where I can go. And she spent the whole day out. She got her hair done. She got her nails done and she did a big grocery shopping for the family. She says, I love my refrigerator. I love my kitchen. I love my new appliances. I love being able to buy everything that I want at the supermarket and not have to think about it. But she knows and I know and we both acknowledge that that's because I built an infrastructure, I built a life, I built a frame, I built a universe for her to step in, for her to step into and flourish. She calls it, because she read The Oracle by, uh, by Stephen Arneo, great book. Every, every woman should read The Oracle. Every man should read The Oracle. Every man should buy a copy of The Oracle for their wife. Colleen read it, and there's a phrase in the book where he, he describes what is essentially true about the, 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 the most dignified fate for a woman, right? Which is to live under the mantle of a strong alpha male provider and get what she calls or what he calls in the book feminine luxury why would a woman want anything else do they want to go and pay taxes and work for some other man do they want to compete in the marketplace what do you want to, what do you want to do you want to save the world you know how you save the world as a woman bearing and caring for raising really good children Really good children that are going to go out and make the world a better place. Your work out there as a woman, your vote out there as a woman, your projecting yourself like a giant penis into the world as a woman pales in comparison to doing great work in the home, in the frame that a man creates for you so that you can mentor to teach and guide children to be everything that you want to see in the world. So she says she usually feels like she's living in my world. All you got to say to her is, damn right, baby. Welcome to my world. I think you're going to love it. That's really all you got to say to her. Acknowledge. Just say yes. Yes. We're building a life together, right? We are doing this together because a CEO also needs his operations manager, right? But when she says you're building her into, her li into your life, you have to acknowledge that and say yes. You have to say yes. Yes, you, I'm building this and you're coming along. I told that to my wife when we were kids. We were like, I don't know, teenagers. I remember at one point I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build my life. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to create this stuff. I had high hopes like a lot of you guys. Back when I was 19 years, I had high hopes. And I explained to her, I said, I would love to have you come along for the ride. She's still riding my ride. I am the roller coaster. I am the four wheeler, right? I'm the ATV. I'm the Ferrari, the Jeep. And she's sitting passenger side and loving the ride. Your woman will love the ride if you are a solid provider, right? She'll love the ride. She'll love sitting back and doing the things that allows a woman to flourish in her femininity. 
Why would a woman want anything else? And I tell you this, this is also really, really important. As a man, is it's, it's deep rooted in our DNA to want to provide. We want to give women everything. It's it, whether we acknowledge it or not, because they, we've been so divorce raped or whatever the case may be. The fact is that men feel this desire to give. We just want to give. Think about the sexual act itself. What, what do men do? We fill up with vitality and we we give it away, right? What happens when you're in there? Right? You let it up. You let it out. You give it away. You give yourself to that woman. She opens herself up and what does she do? She receives. A woman is a receiver. A man is a giver. The, 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 and I read recently a really good website I, I went on and I was reading this. It, the, the, it was written for women to make it so that their man will never be interested in another woman, right? This whole, it was, a, it was a sales letter for like a book or something. And the whole perspective of this letter was for women to do this one thing. You have to understand this one thing. If you want your man to give you everything, to never look at another woman, to want to just give his life for you, right? And you hear this and you might think, what the hell? What could possibly make me want to do that, right? Because it's natural to us. You know what the guy told, you know what the, the book or the letter ultimately came to? It came to the point that a man, your man needs to be your hero and he needs to know that you believe you're his hero. He wants to save you. He doesn't want you to be strong and independent and can take care of yourself. That doesn't turn a man on. It does, it, otherwise we would be with a man. What turns men on in women is vulnerability. I want to know that you're in awe at my ability to provide and to go and fight and to go out there and drag home the, the meat. And I want you to look at me with stars in your eyes and say, thank you. Thank you so much for being my hero. Thank you so much for providing this frame for me to live my life in. Thank you so much, husband, for giving me everything I want so that I can nurture these children, raise this family, care for this home, keep this place. This is how we operate, me and my wife. She thanks me for being her hero. I, like I said, she just did it yesterday. She doesn't fight because she wants to go out there and be a hero to the world. She doesn't fight with me because she wants to make more money than me or be a tax paying contributor. She wants to receive everything I give her and turn it into something beautiful. They say, even in the book, the uh, Oracle, he says, he, I think he quotes like, like Betty, Betty White or something. I don't remember who, but he quotes somebody that says that a man, that a woman, the way it works is that a woman takes everything that a man gives her and makes it better, right? And it's true. I give my, my wife a house, she turns it into the home. You see what I'm saying? I give my wife my essence, she turns it into babies and makes a family. I give my wife my money, she turns it into a beautiful meal, stocked refrigerator. I give my wife all my love and she transmutes it into a world of love in our home. What else, right? So I don't know if, you're, if your girlfriend's legitimately complaining, but when she says this, you just nod your head and say, oh yeah, I am building this life. I am building this life and I'm glad to have you as a part of it. This is this is the this is the Ethan ride, right? I'd say that to Colleen too. How do you like? How do you enjoy the ride? I say that to every once in a while. I say, how are you enjoying the ride? Every, especially when she's being grateful and she's looking around and she's like, "Wow, thank you so much." I'm like, "How are you enjoying this ride?" <laughs> right? You're giving her a ride. You're giving the ride of her life. Right? How could she want anything else? Alejandro, the the book is called The Oracle by Stefan Arnio. It's something like the Oracle, the Queen, and the Whore, something like that. The Queen, the Princess, the Whore, and the Oracle, some, something like that. It's King, Warrior, Magician, Lover for Women. But like the Oracle, the Oracle is the is is the is the height of a woman. The height of a man is to become a king, but the height of a woman is not to become a queen. You'll read this in the book and understand the height. The, the woman is at her peak, at her best when she becomes an oracle. And what is an oracle? Oracle is the magician quality in a woman. 
And when a woman embodies her oracle quality in the realm that's created by a king, you could just imagine, think about, think about Alex, uh, was, who was it? Uh, Alexander the Great and the Oracle, right? Was it Alexander the Great? One of the conquerors, one of the great conquerors. What did he do? He would go to the Oracle because he's the conqueror. He's the king. He spreads the empire, but he goes to the Oracle and asks and listens and gets the intuitive aspect of it. My wife, that's it. That's my wife. She's the Oracle. It's better than the queen. You don't, women, look, to be a queen is part of the way there. It's almost there. But you start out, you start out as uh, uh, the whore, then you become the princess, then the queen, then the oracle, right? And so a, pr a queen is the one that wants to, I want to build a life too. I want to be a part of it too. I want to make things happen. I want to be a mover and shaker. But the oracle, what does she do? She, the way the king thrones, sits on his throne, is the same way that the oracle thrones. The oracle sits and she allows the magic to unfold in front of her. And she takes the bits and pieces that are provided for her. And she creates magic. She creates magic. My wife creates magic because I'm constantly giving her things to turn into something beautiful, like I said before. So I know this is kind of a long answer, but I just want you to know that you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. And that your girlfriend may be, she, she, she may be like resistant a little bit because the world doesn't teach us these things that I'm talking about. It makes women feel like they need to compete with men. Right, and it makes men like have a lot of animosity towards women because they're in, there's so many different reasons. One of which is they don't belong in the workplace with us, but that's a totally different story. They belong at home, but that sounds that sounds you know racist, right? <laughs> you can't say that stuff because we're so perverted that when you talk common sense, people get offended. And so your girlfriend grew up in the same uh, degenerate world that we all grew up in, so she's having a little resistance. She's not sure, but you just make her sure. And you, listen, it's, don't take that lightly. You make her sure. You make her sure. You make her sure by showing up, by being honest, by giving her your best, giving your all to the world, and always striving, always succeeding, always moving up the ladder, right? You want her hypergamous nature to be kicked on to such a degree that when she looks at you, she's in awe. How did I deserve this guy? How did I... How do I deserve this life that he's creating for me and have gratitude for it, right? I know it's tough. There's not a lot of women that, that will embody that. But when she looks at you with those eyes, like my wife looks at me sometimes with these eyes, she just will look at me with these eyes like, wow. Then you know you're there and that she is in her full feminine form, yielding, opening, submitting, and what? Creating. Get her pregnant. And she'll stop all that whining <laughs> real quick. Make some babies, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.